a third is any square root that cannot be written as a whole number. So if I have square root 4, that is not a third, because square root 4 can be written as 2. Square root 5, on the other hand, cannot be written as a whole number, so square root 5 is a third. So any square root number, so apart from the square numbers, so square root 4, square root 9, which is 3, square root 16, which is 4, apart from these numbers, apart from our square numbers, other square roots are thirds. Square root 8 is a third, because it doesn't go to a whole number. However, it isn't said to be in its simplest form, because square root 8 can be written as a smaller square root. Now, what I mean by a smaller square root is square root 8 is square root 4 times square root 2. Square root 4 is actually 2. So square root 8 is 2, lots of square root 2, which can be written as 2 root 2. So this is in a simpler form because the third is smaller. So at the top here, we've got all of our square numbers. In order to simplify a third, we look for what square number is inside, the biggest square number that's a factor of this number. So here we've got 18, and we've got square root 9, which is a square number. 9 is a square number, it's a factor of 18. So square root 18 is square root 9 multiplied by square root 2. Square root 9 is 3, so we've got 3 times square root 2, and this is 3 root 2. Same thing here, we've got 75. What, which square number is the biggest factor of 75? So 25, which I identify 25. So square root 75 is square root 25 times square root 3. Square root 25 is 5. So square root 75 in its simplest form is 5 root 3. Pause the video and see if you can simplify these two thirds. Okay, so square root 8, we've got square root 4 here. So square root 4 times square root 2, and that is 2 root 2. Square root 98, you should have identified 49. So square root 49 times square root 2, which is 7 root 2.